Razor's Edge is a new Void Vortex Frame sword, and that has been added to Destiny 2 as part of Iron Banner in Season of the Risen. So given Void is really good right now due to the Void 3.0 rework, this sword is going to be absolutely incredible for Void builds. Plus, it looks like a lightsaber. Well, today I'm going to check out the Razor's Edge, the stats, the perks and the god rolls to chase for PvE and PvP, plus how to get the Razor's Edge in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And roughly 98% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed, so subscribe today and never miss an update. Well, first of all today, let's have a look at the weapon itself. So Razor's Edge is a legendary power sword, and that deals void damage, so it's a vortex frame sword. We can launch a heavy spin attack, and heavy attacks are stronger when you have full energy. So it's really similar to Falling Guillotine, plus it looks like a lightsaber. Well, similar to Falling Guillotine, you know, that has been one of the most popular swords for years, and you can launch that heavy spin attack with Razor's Edge. Now, given we got Void 3.0 and all the aspects and the fragments, I would expect some awesome builds with Razor's Edge in the power slot. Now, I haven't really had a chance to play around with it enough just yet, but expect some Void builds for all classes very, very soon on the channel. So Razor's Edge has the potential to be great for crowd control. You know, not only is it a Void Vortex Frame Sword, it can also roll with Chain Reaction. And this isn't going to be super useful in PvP, but in PvE... This could be a game changer, so you're going to be able to create those void elemental damage explosions. Plus, you've got the right elemental well mods, you're going to be creating wells all over the place, allowing you to regen grenades, get your super back nice and fast, and also power up your melee abilities. We're well, talking about perks, let's have a look at the Razor's Edge God Roll Guide. So, for PvE, Relentless Strikes and Chain Reaction would be a great roll. Relentless Strikes mean landing three light attacks grants sword ammo. And then you've got Chain Reaction where final blows create elemental damage explosions. And given this is a void weapon, it's going to be very, very potent in Season of the Risen. For PvP, Duelist Trance and Assassin's Blade is the play. So Duelist Trance is where the sword final blows grant increased charge rate, efficiency and defense until the weapon is stowed. And Assassin's Blade is where sword kills boost movement speed and damage. Well, Iron Banner weapons this season also have a new origin trait and that is called Skulking Wolf. And much like other origin traits, this is a guaranteed perk on all Iron Banner weapons this season. So this is where during the hunt, that is where you've got all zones captive in Iron Banner, final blows of the weapon grant enhanced radar and remove the player from the enemy radar too. Well, let's have a look at how to get Razor's Edge in Destiny 2. So to get Razor's Edge, you get it as a guaranteed drop as part of the Iron Banner introduction quest in Season of the Risen. And you can get this from completing Step 3 of the quest, and that is a step called Lessons Well Learned. In the future, after Season of the Risen, and we don't have access to this quest, you'll be able to get it from Iron Banner. So an Iron Banner rework is coming, and we are going to be able to focus our loot. In theory, we'll be able to focus our Iron Banner engrams with materials and currency and exchange them for Iron Banner focused loot. The exact details of the rework has not been released yet, but that's what we expect to happen in Season 17. Well, you can also get Razor's Edge to drop for you at the end of an Iron Banner match. And that is exactly how I got mine to drop for me. So you can play Iron Banner and loot will drop at the end of matches and keep your fingers crossed and Razor's Edge will drop for you. Otherwise, get it from that quest this season or in future seasons, either get it from the end of Iron Banner matches or focus that loot. Well, Iron Banner is one of the endgame PvP game modes alongside Trials of Osiris in Destiny 2. And Iron Banner isn't around all the time, it's only around for selected weeks throughout the season. And you know when Iron Banner is on, as we have that specific Iron Banner vendor in the tower. At the moment, that is Lord Saladin, but in the future, we don't know what's going to happen. Plus, you can see Iron Banner in the Crucible menu from the Director. Well, let me know what you think of the Razor's Edge down there in the comments, and let me know your favourite role. And that is it for this guide for how to get the Razor's Edge in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, if I had it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Well, thanks again. I'll see you soon.